Hey subscribers, welcome to a review of Battle 11. The Slaneshi Demons versus the Grey Knights and a couple of Adeptus Custodes. So here we are at the start of the battle. We've got the deployment phase at this stage. Well, this is just actually after I have done the first introduction section where we had Yars come charging out of that um, portal cave mouth whatever you want to call it, and he had Mitch, Devlin and Co in hot pursuit. Um, he's gone, uh, Yars has actually gone into the boathouse over here, and well you saw the battle last week so you know what would have happened there. This is the start of the battle itself. So we've got the Grey Knights over on this side, we've got a unit of Adeptus Custodes there, which, uh, like I said before, I think there's going to be a quite a large battle later in the season with the Adeptus Custodes. So uh, they'll make they'll resurface again. We've got a unit of Grey Knights over here, and led by uh, Castle and Crow. I think it is just there. I'll just try and get a look at that. So that's in there. Another unit of Grey Knights here. Like I said, there's the Adeptus Custodes, you know, Rhino. Um, now all the rest are basically Terminators. We've got a, lib a Librarian, I should say, uh, who's in here somewhere. There he is at the front. If I get a good look at him. Just there. We've got Drago here as well. And basically, Grey Knight Terminators up here in Deep Strike, or sorry, in reserves. We've got one, two, three Dread Knights, and all the rest there. That's the Chaos Reserves. Talk about them in a minute. Over this side, we've got Lucius the Eternal with a whole swag of Demonettes. We've got some Chaos Spawn. Terminator Lord, and we've got a um, Dreadnought slash Hellbrute. Got a Rhino, a sick looking guy in a jelly tank there. Get some better photos of it later on. And a Defiler up the other side. So, over here we've got some cavalry. Uh, there's a unit of Space Marines at the back there which are hiding in that, not hiding, but they're in that Rhino just there. So that's what there those guys are. We've got Obliterators over this side. So there's quite a few of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's a Greater Demon at the back. So as you would have seen last week, the Greater Demon would have come out of that pulsing sack there. And uh, that's where his deep strike position is. So we'll see how that pans out. So that's the deployment. That's the just the start of the battle. We'll see what happens next. Keep an eye out for first half of turn one. Turn 1.1. Grey Knights. So really not much happening in this turn. They're just moving across the board. Normally they do a bit of deep striking. But in this case... Uh, a lot's already on the board to start with. Let's have a look. So we've got one unit of Terminators moving up behind this pile of rubble just there, just waiting its turn. Three other units of Terminators uh, uh, just advancing across the board as well, just basically moved up like this, taking that position in the rubble. They're not really too concerned being Terminators. I suppose there's that. Um, Nasty Hellbrute Dreadnought thing there, which could cause some damage. Not a lot of heavy weapons on the other side. There's a Defiler up there, but he's probably not going to be able to shoot down through that there. So, they think they're pretty safe. Over here we have the Adeptus Custodes unit. Just jump in the Rhino there and move up along the board. And the other Grey Knights just fold in behind it using the... Rhino as cover. Of course that Rhino may well be a target of that 
the fire up the back there. We had another unit of Grey Knights led by the Grey Knight Champion Castellan Crow just there. Oopsie. Trying to get that to focus. So they've just kind of tucked their tucked themselves in behind this um, boulders and between the boulders and this lava section over here. Uh, trying not to gather the attention of the defiler up the back there so they're just going to try and creep across the board and engage various units now there's a whole heap of deep strikers up here to come on later on which will make the board look a lot busier but it's only the first half of turn one so not a lot happening we've got the chaos turn next we'll see what happens Okay, so the second half of turn one's been completed. Not a lot to happen in these early turns, but let's have a look at the board. Over this side we've had the Demonettes and the Chaos Spawn, Chaos Champion and Terminator Armour, Lucius the Eternal, all converge, combine and try and attack via numbers and try and come in this way. Uh, not a lot of cover for those guys, but they might get um, shut up a bit by this group here, but they were hoping to try and come through and attack with numbers. Over in the middle, we've had the Hellbrute and the Rhino basically use this temple as cover here. And they, the Hellbrute here assisted in taking out the Rhino, also with the assistance of the Defiler at the back here which took a position in those ruins and doesn't look like it's under too much threat up the back there and should just launch his, uh, or sorry, fire its battle cannon uh, into the advancing grey knights along here. Um, so inside this rhino we've got the space marines as well so they'll come out. So really Chaos is taking a pretty strong position with that Defiler up the back there. But in saying that, we've got a bit of deep striking action to come up here with some uh, Dread Knights. So they should be able to challenge that Defiler quite well. So that's what we have at the end of turn one. We'll come up with turn two in just a moment. Here we are on the first half of turn two and it's starting to get fairly congested here. We had a deep striking dread knight of the back here touch down behind the boathouse and try and take out the defiler that was there to no avail. Um, over this side everyone else basically walked or, or ran across the board. We've had this group of grey knights try and close the distance to that defiler. Same with this one here. Uh, behind them there's this, um, what would you call it, um, pulsing sack, which inside it's a, um, a greater demon. So that's gonna come out at some stage and cause some difficulties. The Adeptus Custodius unit came up and tried uh, trying to secure this position near the um, temple there in the middle. Uh, the rest of these grey knights moved across the board trying to clean up this side of the board. We've had um, one unit try and cut down as many demonettes as they could. I think there was four that were taken from the combined fire from this unit of terminators all with storm boulder fire. And that's really where it sits at the end of the first half of turn two. So we've still got quite a few deep striking units to come. We've got a couple of Dreadnoughts, one, two, and the rest is Chaos Forces. We've got a lot of Obliterators to touch down, uh, which are going to probably cause a lot of problems for the Terminators um, over here. So it looks like the board's covered by the Grey Knights and they've got control, but... There's still an awful lot to come on the board, so we'll wait and see what happens. Second half of turn two, coming up shortly. Here we are on the last half of turn two, and 
Chaos Deep Strikers have really appeared all over the board. There's still a couple left over here to come out. We've still got a couple of actually four obliterators to come out. Uh, we've got the Great Demon who's going to spawn out of that uh, sack over there when the time comes. And we've got the unit of Space Marines that are hiding in that Rhino just there. Let's have a quick look around the board. Firstly we had the obliterators just appear here and try and take out the Dread Knight there to no effect. The Demonettes and Spawn and Lucius and the Terminator Champion advanced. Didn't, I mean, didn't fire any weapons as such at the Grey Knights but they're getting close to assault range. Over here we had the Hellbrute charge in, take out one Dread Knight, oh not Dread Knight, um, Grey Knight, Terminator, uh, and they're in combat there. As I said, the Rhinos just come around the corner there, ready to spill forth all those Space Marines around here. Over this side we had some Demonic Cavalry appear and charge onto the board. They haven't engaged anyone just yet, but that won't be too far away. There's quite a few there. We also had another obliterator appear behind enemy lines and fire and take out one Grey Knight Terminator. So we also had the Defiler up here, just sitting in that what counts as cover up here. It's not really offering him too much cover, but it's better than nothing. Uh, try to take out uh, the Adeptus Custodes and ended up blasting away half that unit of Grey Knights there, so uh, that wasn't too bad for the Defiler. Overall, we've got uh, a lot of the models out on the board now. Still got a few more to go, but there's going to be spot fires everywhere. We've got turn three coming up. Let's see what happens next. Here we are on the first half of turn three. You know, it's been a while since I've been up here working on this battle. I've spent the last week and a half trying to catch up with the editing. So, because uh, they take about probably a week or so to edit a battle. So it's been a while. Let's have a look at the board. See if I can recap on where we're at. So start of turn three. Grey Knights, their turn. So in here we've had some deep striking... Dread Knights pop down just here and they fired and took out the they fired into the back of the Rhino and spilled out the Space Marines there, which were subsequently assaulted by the Adeptus Custodes. Just there, charged in and carved a few of those guys up. Over this side here we've had the Grey Knights which were in those ruins there charge out and take on the demonettes and took out five or six of those guys um, but there's the chaos champion with the power fist hiding there and also lucius and the chaos spawn so that battle's not over just yet just there um, over this side we had the other dread knight try and race up behind the defiler over there and smack it with that hammer um, didn't quite make it so that will get resolved later. Uh, over this side we had this unit of Grey Knights. They charged in and took out an obliterator which was was just sitting there. Also we had uh, this unit here charge in and help take down a uh, Hellbrute which was sitting there. Um, not much going on over this side of the board. We've got the Grey Knight units trying to close the distance between the Defiler, trying to bunch these guys together so they can offer a nice juicy target for that battle cannon um, right there. But we'll have to wait till next turn we see what happens there. Looking at the casualties up here. Oh, well, there are casualties just there, but we've got one, two, four obliterators to come out. And a greater demon just there, so still a little bit to come out for chaos. But it looks like uh, the Grey Knights have control of the table at the moment. Anyway, we'll wait and see what happens in the second half of turn three.
here we are on the second half of turn three. It's just been completed. We've had quite a bit happen. We had the greater demon appear out of that flash, flash sack, I suppose you could call it. I have no idea what it was, but he came bursting out. Didn't do anything. He's just waiting his next turn. We had these cavalry units charge the Grey Knight unit here and took out one Grey Knight, but three of the attackers got taken out. Over this side we had the Custodes and the Chaos Space Marines go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and the Chaos Space Marines didn't fare too well. They did manage to take out one Deptus Custodes, so that continues. Likewise over here, uh, this unit of Grey Knights ploughed through the Demonettes there. There's only three three demonettes remaining out of that squad but a grey knot got taken out so that is still being resolved over here we've had some obliterators touch down deep striking and took out one dread knight that was sitting right there so that's that part of the board over here it was too good for the Defiler to resist. There was a big squad of uh, Grey Knights just sitting there and the Battle Cannon just went splat and took those guys out. So I know that there's the Dread Knight here which is really in a prime position to take him out but that was too good for him to refuse. Over this side we had Another couple of obliterators touched down and fired into the Grey Knight unit there. So overall, all the deep striking models are on the board now. So this is all the units which will be here for the rest of the battle. So we've got turn four coming up next. I'd say at this stage, it's fairly evenly positioned. You know, we've got a, a, a really good unit of Grey Knight Terminators here, but you know, you've got the Greater Demon over there, so who knows how that's going to pan out. Um, that is about it. We'll see what happens in turn four. Right, here we are at the end of the first half of turn four, and if we look at the board, a lot of skirmishes in in melee range at this stage we've got over here uh, one of the grey knights that was accompanying the grand master there has died leaving just the grand master against uh, four remaining cavalry units so that's kind of evenly placed really because uh, that master there is uh, wounded and on his last legs over here we've got the Adeptus Custodes and the unit of Grey Knight Terminators there. They took out the Chaos Space Marines that were there. So they control the center of the board. Over this side, it's a little bit more even. Uh, Chaos Forces lost three Demonettes and the Grey Knights lost uh, one model out of that. So we've got uh, you know, a Champion, some Spawn and Lucius against librarian and a terminator so could go anyway wait and see what happens there the dread knight turned around here and charged into four obliterators which now is three so well that's still evenly weighted a little bit as well over this side of the board we've had the other dread knight charge in and smack the defiler which is no longer so grey knights control that area over this side Castellan Crow and his squad charged in and tried to take out the two obliterators. There's only one obliterator left and there were two casualties on the Grey Knight side. So Grey Knight's pretty much controlling that area. So overall, we've just finished the first half of turn four. Uh, Chaos's turn next. We've got a great demon who's itching to sort of cause some damage here. I'm really not sure which way he's going to be going whether he gets involved um, taking on the custodies there or try and reinforce this area over here. That's probably his couple of options. Oh, I suppose he could try and take uh, the chapter, the, the Grandmaster out, but uh, 
Who knows? All right, we'll wait and see what happens at the end of turn four. Here we are at the end of turn four, and it starts to get to be my favourite time of doing these battles in that, you know, all the hard work of moving all the models around the board, you know, there's key battles or skirmishes that are going on which can really change the tide of the battle. But also I bring my mind to the storyline as far as when Mitch Devlin and, and co, you know, what the, what are they going to do next and Yars, you know, what what is he going to do in the actual next battle. I start bringing my mind to the next board that I'm going to use, which I've already sort of planned out and next board is going to be a good one by the way. Um, gonna have to watch that one um, and yeah I'll just try and pan out what the story is going to be for the next battle so um, there's not many moves left to go in this game we've got the end of turn four let's check the board here it is so over this side we had a Grand Master actually fall to the Demonet Cavalry there um, so Chaos had a small victory over that side over this side, the Castellan Crow and his unit there took out the uh, Obliterator that was sitting there. The Great Demon chose to go and support there but didn't quite make the distance. Is now sitting fairly exposed there, but these guys over here, probably an even match maybe. Don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Um, over this side we've had Lucius and the Chaos Champion there um, have a victory against the uh, Librarian that's sitting up in the casualty section now. So they have won that battle except they're fairly exposed as well to the Cust Adeptus Custodes and the, those Terminators there. So we'll see how that pans out. Over this side we had one Obliterator get taken out, but the Dreadmite was taken out at the same time. So a little Chaos victory over there too. So well, over this side, look, there's nothing Chaos of Chaos over this side. It's just the Dreadmite. So we've got mm, Grey Knights, Chaos, Chaos, yeah, Grey Knights in the middle. Chaos and it's fairly evenly balanced over there. I'd say it's fairly evenly balanced at the end of turn four. So we've got two turns to go. We'll wait and see what happens next. Here we are on the first half of turn five, and look, the battle's just about over really at this stage. Oh, Chaos is looking pretty defeated, but who knows? You can see how it goes. Firstly, Look, it's the Grey Knight's turn. Castellan Crow and his unit here assaulted the Greater Demon and took two casualties. Uh, the Greater Demon is holding its ground there. We had the Adeptus Custodes just race across the board, the board, I should say, trying to reach that combat there and help out. Over this side, this unit of Terminators um, fired their weapons and took out three of the... Uh, Demonette Cavalry units just there. Um, over this side we had the Dread Knight advanced trying to use the actual boathouse itself as cover and took out Lucius who is no longer there. So um, look at this stage we've got the Chaos turn next. Chaos have only got the Terminator um, champion there, a couple of obliterators and the Great Demon. Look, if the Greater Demon holds out, um, the Obliterators, you know, they could cause a little bit of damage maybe to the Dread Knight, but he's got that building in front of them. So maybe might take one of those Terminators out, but still Chaos looking a little bit outnumbered, but we'll have to wait and see. Second half of Turn 5 coming up shortly. Here we are on the end of turn five and Chaos have had their turn. There's only a few models left on the board and it looks like they're not going to make it. We had the Obliterators 
turn and decide to fire and take out one Terminator over there. Uh, the Chaos Champion ran across the board and really didn't do anything. Couldn't really fire into those guys, into the Terminators, or have a go at the Dreadnought over there. So I think his plan is, is maybe he can draw some fire from these guys. And then hopefully the Obliterators can do one final last maneuver to do something. Can't really say. Who knows how it's going to work out. Over this side, the Greater Demon is still punching away. Took out two... Uh, Grey Knights leaving Castle and Crow left there pretty much by himself, uh, but the uh, Adeptus Custodes are pretty much within reach there, so he might they might save the day yet. Who knows? Um, so that's the end of turn five. We've got one more turn to go. It's probably going to go in favour of the Grey Knights, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, that's the end of the first half of turn six. Not many models left on the board now. What we had is we had this unit of Grey Knights here turn and fire at the Chaos Champion that was there. And it finally got taken out by the Dread Knight there. So that's the casualty there. The Chaos Champion. Uh, there's only one other casualty and that was in this conflict with the Greater Demon over this side. We had the Adeptus Custodes charge into combat and one of the grey knights got taken out and that demon is fairly wounded who knows how that's going to work out overall it looks like a grey knight's victory but we'll wait and see the final turn second half of turn six coming up soon well that's the end of the battle end of turn six and the final result is a comprehensive grey knight's victory so looking at the remnants of the table, we had over here the Greater Demon finally go down after taking one Terminator with it, but that is gone, leaving the Custodes and Castellan Crow standing there. We've got the unit of Grey Knights here, still controlling the centre. Uh, look, this is just the remnants of the battle. Those two obliterators were still alive, but uh, we had the storyline where Yars came charging out of the boat shed, boat house, I should say, and took them out and ran off the table, ready for the next instalment of this series. Uh, we've also got Mitch Devlin here who ran out from the cave entrance just over there. So that's the end of the battle. Um, like I said, a comprehensive Grey Knights victory. Uh, stay tuned to next battle. We've actually got a new board that I'm using on the next one, which is uh, another six foot by six foot board. So it should be quite a good battle. Uh, stay tuned for next week. Thanks for watching.